Hello, hi everybody. This is Barb Mangami, also known as Coach B. How is everyone doing today? Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I thought I'd come on and have a word with you. Let me kind of position, I feel like I'm in your face. I thought I would come and share with you a little bit um, about magic, creating magic in your life. So we have done the M, which is mindset. We did a, which is accountability yesterday. And today we're going to look at the G, which is grace. So what does it mean to give yourself grace? Well, after you have worked on your mindset, right? After you have held yourself accountable, after you have done all those things, who? Sometimes the best made plans, sometimes the best intentions just do not yield the results that we want to see right there and then. Sometimes because life, sometimes because we're human, we stall, we fall off the bandwagon, uh, and so on and so forth. So I want to really talk about what giving yourself grace means, because this is really important to anybody's success. Guys, please say hi as you come on. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If you're catching me on the replay. Sorry, I missed you. Just type replay in the comments and I'll be sure to come and love on you. Now, hear me well. When I talk about giving yourself grace, I'm not talking about making excuses for yourself. Big difference. And you are the one who's going to have to be really honest with yourself based on where it is you want to get to in your life, okay? I doesn't matter what I think about what you're doing. doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. If you feel that you need to give yourself grace, that's on you to do that, right? Hey, Monica. Hey, Mommy. How are you guys doing? So you got to be so brutally honest with yourself. And I've said this before when we were talking about excuses. You know deep down when you are making an excuse or whether you're turning a reason into an excuse not to do the things you're supposed to do. Right? You know it. You know it. You could be lying in bed telling yourself that your back hurts when in actual fact your back aches slightly but you're going to create a calamity out of your backache so you don't get out of bed and you're going to call it, I'm giving myself grace. That's on you. At the end of the day, you're the one who's not going to achieve what it is you're setting out to achieve. And at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to disappoint yourself. You can't deceive you. You can deceive everybody else around you. But my mama always says, when you're lying in your bed and your head is on your pillow, your pillow doesn't lie to you. In other words, when you are by yourself, the truth about what you're doing, who you are, what you've said, what you haven't said, hits you. And let me tell you about truths in the dark. I hate truths in the dark. You know why? Because it's dark and you tend to lose perspective. So if you're about to batter yourself, if you're about to um, berate yourself for not having done something, oh my gosh, it's worse at night. Because then whatever it is you've done just seems to be bigger, you know? You lose perspective in the dark. I always say that. Don't ever have important conversations before you go to bed. Nighttime has a way of just throwing things out of perspective. Hey, Nema, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. I hope I said your name correctly. So basically what I'm saying about giving yourself grace, giving yourself grace is this. You want to, you've been, you've been, I'll give you an example of myself. Okay. And this is where I had to give myself grace. So a couple of months ago, I had to have emergency surgery, right? And it's so crazy. But as soon as I came to, the things I was thinking of were this. Man, how am I going to do 75 hard? Okay. I'm like groggy from anesthesia. And that's what I was thinking of. Secondly, man, how am I going to be able to go live every single day? I can't sit up. And you know what? My teammates will tell you I tried it. <laughs> I went live from my hospital bed one night. But you know what? My body couldn't take it. My body couldn't take it. So I did not make excuses. I had to give myself grace or else I was just going to make myself sick or end up back in the hospital or get an infection. Any of those things. Mind you, I did in the end get an infection, but that's another story for another day. What I'm trying to say to you guys is, if you want to succeed at something, you cannot look 
at a setback as complete failure. And this is easier said than done because it's rooted in how you view yourself. It's rooted in the stories in your head. See the mindset piece I was telling you? Because we are our own worst critics. So fine. You're eating keto and you ate a slice of cheesecake. I hope you enjoyed it. That's not the end of the world though, right? So rather than take a, a whip and self-flagellate, oh, you're bad, you're awful, you're this, or worse still, oh, you know what? I'm not good at this. I'm not, I can't do keto. Based on one slice of cheesecake, you're going to draw that conclusion? That's not giving yourself grace. Giving yourself grace is saying, oof, okay, so I had that. Okay, I'm going to do better next meal. Oh, you know what? Let me drink my ketones, right? I'm just drink my ketones. That'll offset some of that sugar. You see what I'm saying? You got to give yourself grace. But if you're in the habit of all or nothing, I'm either going to jump in always. And if I, if I have a hiccup, if I experience a challenge, I throw the baby out with the bathwater. You're not giving yourself a fair shot at life. You're not giving yourself a fair shot at anything. Hey, Skyla, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. So I'm asking you today to give yourself grace when grace is needed. Okay, you have a massive migraine. You've taken something for it. That headache won't go. Please don't go on live and go. Hello, hi everybody. This is Coach B and... That's just foolishness, okay? You're not well enough to go and on live and talk to people. So give yourself grace. Don't then go and start having conversations in your head about how useless you are, about how you will never amount to anything, because that's what we have a tendency to do. We don't have a very good perspective on ourselves. Do you know that? We'll give grace to other people any day. <laughs> Somebody will call you and say, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I didn't show up for coaching. I totally forgot. And you'll be like, it's okay. Let's schedule another time. Okay, that's the person you should be giving grace to. That's the person you should be saying, excuse me, my time is very valuable. And unfortunately for this week, we're done. You're going to have to look for me next week. But we won't do that. We'll give that person grace. But to yourself, you won't give grace. Methinks this is about self-care, self-love, self-esteem which is where the mindset comes in. If I'm sharing something that's kind of hitting you, give me some love and likes, give me a thumbs up, give me a something. Just show me that I'm talking to somebody about this. The reason why it's so important, you know, the title is creating magic in your life. You have to have all these components coming together to create the magic, right? Creating magic in your life doesn't happen just because you wish it. You can't sit there and say, oh, you know what? Oh, I want to make a million dollars. Okay, good. You can create magic in your life. You can make that if you want to. But it's not going to happen just because you wish it or you dream it. You got to get into inspired action with it. Right? And at, guys, just know this, whatever journey you're on, maybe it's, it's your fat loss health journey, maybe it is in a business, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. And what comes out of that failing depends on you. Will you give yourself grace and look at that fail as an opportunity to learn and grow? Or will you look at that fail as it being over? Or will you look at that fail and personalize it and then call yourself a failure? Because then we're done. May as well switch this live off and go home. Okay? Giving yourself grace is allowing yourself to see a fail I'm not going to say a failure, a fail as an opportunity to learn and grow. Fail, 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 fail. You know why? Because the more you fail, especially early on in your journey, the more you fail, the more you're going to learn.
As long as your mindset is correct and you're giving yourself grace to see every fail as an opportunity to learn and get it right, learn and get it right. The problem though will come if you keep making the same mistake over and over again. Okay. Um, then uh, we have to have another conversation. Okay. But if every mistake, even if you make a mistake, I don't know, five mistakes a day, if there are five different mistakes a day and you're correcting and you're correcting and you're learning and moving forward, you're good. That is how you give yourself grace. So grace is not about letting yourself off the hook from the things that you know you need to hold yourself accountable to. Nope. Grace is about caring and loving yourself enough to take a time out if you need to, to look at mistakes and failures as opportunities for growth, and to never, ever, ever call yourself a failure. Don't speak death into your life ever. Once you call yourself a failure, the universe doesn't know negative or positive. The universe will say, yes, you are a failure, child. Don't ever, ever do that. And I'll tell you something. The only time you become a failure is when you quit or you don't try. If you quit... If you don't try, I'm not going to say the words because I'm not about to speak those words. Because I know the people here are not going to quit or not try. You better not. I'm coming after you if you do. I really am. Give yourself a fighting chance by giving yourself grace. So I hope you guys got some value from this. If you did, please share it out to your group. Share it out on your page. Save it for yourself for a day when you might need to understand a little bit more about how to give yourself grace. Save it for a day when, you know, you, you start to feel like you're a failure and you need to kind of walk yourself back from the ledge, okay? And undo that pronunciation of death over your life. You're not a failure. You may be failing, but learn and keep going. Keep pushing. You got this. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.